Hey guys, what's going on? Ange here for another mechanical repair on the VRX differentials. So let's have a look. All right guys, so after many months of having this VRX Cobra Violence, I've finally done the front diff. It's actually let go on the inside with the pinion and the crown wheel. So this is the crown wheel. As you can see, it is pretty uh, chewed up from looking at all those teeth on there, on the outside ring. That's pretty gone. And the pinion doesn't look any better. So that is absolutely knackered. And it didn't sound good when I was driving along. So I thought I'd uh, have to fix this up. So these two items are in need of repair. So we're gonna do that today. So just before I do get stuck into repairing the front diff, one thing I did do is I purchased my Hobbywing WPSC8 120 amp speed controller. And that is the box there. And it was running pretty good. Um, done all the programming for it. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's the new one. It's pretty good actually. You get longer cables from the original uh, speed controller that was in here and extra longer cables that run up to the motor. So it's really, really handy. Nothing was tight or stressed anymore. Um, it's got a really good uh, waterproof switch on there too. And it just fit in there. So it's just a nice snug fit. I've just got that glue down with a couple of drops of silicon underneath. I did try the glue gun, but uh, the glue gun just wasn't working. But yeah, I'll put a link below to where you can get the, uh, the Easy Run Hobby Wing Speed Controller. Oh yeah, and another quick upgrade that I've done as well is I took the chance and I bought some uh, front swing arms from Alibaba. Now, they're pretty good. I bought these for around $16. Took about three weeks to get them. They're not the originals. They are a little bit slightly different color, but they are aluminium. Um, and they've held up pretty well. So I know the originals cost about $90 Australian, but I wouldn't be paying that much. So I sacrificed a three week wait and I got these for uh, $16 with shipping or without, I can't remember. I think with out shipping. I'll have to double check, but I will put a link below. So just to show you a comparison in genuine and non-genuine parts, the swing arms on the left, the darker blue ones, they are the genuine VRX Cobra swing arms. And the ones on the right are obviously the ones from Alibaba. So you can see a significant difference in color there, but everything fits the same. Like the uprights uh, fit the same. I just did add a little washer in there. Um, and the pins, the swing pins fit perfectly. Like there was no issue in there at all. Everything just lined up absolutely spot on. All right, so getting back onto the front diff, what I've realized is, is that, now I haven't done a review on this before, and I'm soon to do one, is I was on Marketplace a little while ago, and I actually scored these other two RC cars. Get onto Marketplace, it's great. You find such good bargains on there. Now this one does run, it is about 10 years old, it's Nitro. It's a Sen MG10, so C-E-N MG10. And this one runs, all I had to do is just um, get the engine cleaned up and it does run. So that's the inside. A little bit dirty at the moment, but it runs great. I've done a little bit of tuning on it. I'm unfamiliar with Nitro engines, but I've got it running. You can tell it is old. Check out that remote control. That's old school big time. And this one here, it did have a motor in it, but it did blow up. But this is a HSP Tyrannosaurus. It's pretty old as well. I'm actually converting this. I'm in the middle of converting this to electric. So that's the old VRX motor out of the Cobra. I've put it in, the, in this one here, um, as well as I purchased a new gearbox for this. That was also stripped, but it's pretty clean. It's got all metal upgrades on it. Uh, twin springs on the front. So yeah, that's the other one. 
and that was just another body that was literally the same body and mechanical parts and suspension parts as that one but i've pulled this one apart um it's got the the aluminium uh plate on there but what i have noticed is with these two that are hsp the gears the diff gears actually fit identical and the guy i bought them off he said he hardly ran these at all because he just didn't have time for them so i've tried these and the crown wheel is the same measurement as the original one that comes out of the uh out of the cobra which is one that's uh, stripped out and the pinion is the same length as the other pinion as well this one i find that it just it's been made better um the gearing oh sorry the teeth don't go all the way to the end so as you can see the teeth only go about uh just under halfway or over halfway whichever way you look at it and they fit um identical so i've put them in the original uh gearbox housing um i know everything looks dirty at the moment uh just ignore all that it looks absolutely filth but um they fit in there perfectly and there's no movement at all little movement obviously you're always going to get a little bit of slop here and there but i'm hanging to try this out and if it does work i've actually got two spare diffs i can take out of the uh out of the hsps and i can put them in the cobra so i'm looking forward to this and getting this thing up and running again and show you another video if this all works and so the only other one I'm going to have to buy is my center gearbox or center diff. This one is absolutely stripped inside. So off the spur gear, spur gear is okay, but the um, internals, they're gone. So I'm going to have to buy another one. But looking at this, it nearly is the same as the HSP as well. So I'm going to try it. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If it does work, I'll be wrapped. So I'm gonna give that a go and see what happens. All right guys, I just done a quick fitment. So this is the front diff for the Cobra. So it fits perfectly. If I put all that in place, everything fits nicely. What I did find that is that the crown gear is just touching on the housing there. So if I just take this part off here, and if you hear it, just rubbing on there. So what I'm gonna do, just gonna file this bit of the gearbox housing out right there and that'll uh, stop that noise. If I left it, I could, but it'd just end up rubbing through and and uh, then spinning all the, the plastic inside and I don't want that inside the gearbox. Um, yeah, don't judge me. It's still dirty in there. I haven't done a clean up yet, so, but yeah, you can hear that rubbing there so i'm gonna fix that up file that down give it a clean up and then hopefully it does work i don't have a set of verniers to measure this exactly uh with the old one i only done it by eye um yeah so we'll see how we go looks the same but it must have been like just just a millimeter or half a millimeter a little bit smaller in diameter but we'll see how we go nothing like giving something a try all right guys, I'm gonna put this car back together and give it a run and I'll see you in the next video. Catch you then.